So there are going to be two parts to this video. In the first part of the video, we're going to talk about what to do if your parents manage your profile. In the second part of the video, we're going to talk about what to do if you are interacting with a profile that is being managed by the parents. Before even I get to what to do in terms of co-managing your profile with your parents, I want to tell you that I really hope that they're only managing your profile because you don't have the time to do the initial filtering and they're supporting you with that. Because if they're managing your profile either because they're too controlling or that you're not interested in getting married, you should absolutely not be on a matrimonial platform and you should make sure that your parents do not have your profile up there because really you're wasting a lot of people's time and it doesn't make for a pleasant experience. So, you know, as much as you enjoy the benefits of being on a matrimonial platform, you also have some responsibility in terms of not giving people false expectations about interacting with you on this platform. Okay, so assuming that your parents are managing your profile only to support you because of lack of time or bandwidth, um, if your profile is co-managed, then I would recommend that you take care of a few things. One, uh, you mentioned very clearly on your uh, profile that this profile is co-managed by you and your parents and set expectations in terms of once there is a match and once somebody connects, what is the mode of communication you prefer? Uh, you can say that this profile is co-managed by my parents and myself, but I will be handling all the interactions with prospective partners or something like that. You know, you make it clear on your bio. Next, uh, once you have a match and you are contacted by your prospective partner or you contact the prospective partner, give them, uh, give them an option to contact you directly. You can actually put multiple phone numbers, but like the one number that will be visible if someone tries to view your contact uh, would be either yours or your parents. So you can choose to have your number if you prefer to be the first point of interaction. But if you want your parents to talk first for whatever reason, um, then you have to make it very clear that the number that is shared there is that of your parents so that somebody who's interacted with you will be better prepared for that interaction rather than being surprised. The other thing, probably something that you should be doing before anything else, is being very clear with your parents in terms of how you should be represented on these platforms and what sort of preferences and filters need to be set up because you don't want to have too many instances of them choosing somebody for you that you then don't like and you reject because what happens is they send an interest or they accept an interest from somebody and you get the hopes up of the other person and then they will share their profile with you afterwards and you say no, right? Of course, that is going to happen because you and your parents are not the same person, but you want to minimize the instances of this happening just because you want to make sure you have a pleasant experience on the platform and you're also ensuring that other people have a pleasant experience on the platform. The next thing is, um, if your profile is parent managed and you interact with other people whose profiles are also parent managed, then there is a lot of additional filtering that happens, could be in terms of horoscopes, wedding family profiles, etc. Um, if you are comfortable with that process, then please go ahead. But if you're not comfortable, you should make that very clear to your parents upfront so that there is a very clear process in terms of how the interaction itself works and there is absolutely no ambiguity there. Next, if you're interacting with somebody whose profile is man being managed by the parents, a uh, couple of things to take care of is this. Now, if you are comfortable with speaking with the parents uh, first or having your parents speaking to the parents first before you actually interact with the boy, Fantastic, right? But if you're not comfortable doing that and you'd like to speak to the person getting married directly, then the first thing that you will say after you have a match is, um, I would like to speak to the person directly first before getting the parents involved. And if you're fine with that approach, let's take this conversation forward. Else, you know, see you, have a nice life.
right? You want to be very upfront about it rather than finding yourself in a position where you're forced to interact with the parent. So a few things will happen when you say something like that, right? One, the parent might say, oh, fabulous, because that's what we want to. Here's my son's number. Here's my daughter's number. Two, they may not reply because they probably don't like your upfront approach, which is great because, you know, they've self eliminated themselves. Three, they may say, sorry, we need to speak to the parent and, you know, uh, sorry, that's just how we do it. Now, when they say that, you have two options. Either you can get your parent involved or you can cut your losses and move on. Now, in what instances would you get your parent involved? If it is an absolutely fabulous, fabulous profile and you feel like you don't want to miss out on the opportunity of talking to this fabulous person just because parents are involved, you would consider getting your parents involved. But if you're fundamentally opposed to that approach, no matter how amazing the profile is, you can absolutely cut your losses and move on, right? This is something a lot of people do not do. They get bogged down by the fact that there are so many parents on these platforms. But the point is, these platforms allow you to discover other people just like you and helps you maximize the opportunities of interacting with other people like you, um, unlike having to walk on the street and find 20 single people, right? So remember the purpose that these platforms serve, which is social discovery, and that to in an efficient manner. So if you're really out there and make use of what these platforms provide, you've just got to find ways to make the system useful for you. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, anything at all, please do leave them below. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so now by clicking the bell icon below. I'll see you next week.